this is what we're about to do right now. We're about to go on stage and sit and talk with all the other comedians about comedy and questions and all that kind of stuff. I think that's what makes this show different from anything else we do. I'm about to go. Welcome back to the funny spot, y'all. This is the portion of the show called On The Spot, where I get to ask the comics some questions and put them on the spot. So help me reintroduce to the stage Mr. Chris Spencer, Esau McGraw, Paula Bell, Rudy Rush, and David Arnold. Okay, first question. Esau McGraw, what do you want people to say about you when your career is done? He was the coldest piece of work you ever seen in your life. <laughs> One of the best ever did it. I'll make you laugh till your gums bleed. Rudy Rush, what do you want to say about you? I just want them to know I pay my child support on time, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Comedy is real good to me. Paula Bell? I've already done my job. <laughs> the government's looking for me, and I'd like to get off camera now. <laughs> okay. You know she messing up my hood rap. She got her white leg all on me. And all. <laughs> Sisters yeah, is like, excuse me. act like it's me. the first time, Rudy. Act like it's the first time. <laughs> All these comics have all I had white women. Jungle I've been with them for years. Right. Not me, but I've seen them. They... Stop faking the funk. Okay. Don't start singing when I don't start singing when I tell on you mother <laughs> Okay, uh, uh, Esau and Chris, if there was uh, one form of comedy, like a style that you could add to your arsenal, what would it be? Hmm. Stealing. <laughs> I like the well, style. Stealing joke. Oh, style. okay. Because well, a lot of other comics steal. I thought that was a style. You think uh, one of my jokes tonight? <laughs> let's skip, let's skip. No, serious. There's a lot of comics. I saw a dude talking about Goonie Goo Goo. I was like, that's Eddie Murphy's. He goes, no. I say Goonie Goo Ga. <laughs> I would add uh, silence. There's a lot of comedians are afraid of silence when the comedy get crowded. Crowd gets quiet. They don't know what to do. But people like Charlie Chaplin did silent movies, kept your attention and made you laugh and never said a word. You know what I mean? So, and I, I Don't can do clap five, like y'all know Charlie Chaplin. She's 13 before, years old. She got, like, yeah, she got the DVD collection. But dang, that's what, that's what I would add, though. That's okay, what I would add. Honest, honest answer. Good luck honest with answer. that, player. She's 17 years old. It's an honest hey, answer. I got the top. I would add. I'm going to do a minute without saying nothing that's going to be hysterical. Watch. But that was before black people, too, so you got to take that into consideration. The movies were black and white. I would add impersonations. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? Even the, the movies were like that. Some of them might have been light skinned and like uh, now David we're gonna take some questions. Listen, fellas, we're gonna don't. take some questions from the audience. Let the audience ask anybody they want a question. Where's the first question at? Right here. What's up, baby? What's your question? Do you have any regrets in your career choices? Any regrets in your career choices? Yeah. I'm here, That's aren't I? <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna be honest with you. We all have regrets when work is slow. When work is good, yeah. we like, yeah, I'm glad I ain't go to college. <laughs> <laughs> and that's real talk. Any regrets, Paula Bell? I said, yeah. I'm here, aren't I? Look who my company is. Come on, Paula <laughs> love us. That's a prop right there. She that's a prop. Us. Any I, regrets? I, 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 don't, I don't have regrets because I think everything that you go through in life puts you in the position that you're in and the place you're supposed to be. So I'm supposed to be here, no regrets. I just wouldn't have slept with that girl in Tuscaloosa that time. <laughs> you're so wise, <laughs> that was Tommy. Beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Second question. What's the next question? question? You got a question? For Tony, what is, um, what's it like being Chris Rock's brother? Uh, it depends on how fine the girl is. <laughs> ha! <laughs> if she's fine, then yes, I'm Chris Rock's brother. If she's ugly, I'm Charlie Murphy. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, a, it's, 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 it's good and bad. It's like, it's just... I have, I have, I have, the whole question. So what about me? What about you? Uh, I'm, I'm Tony Rock. Yes, I'm Chris's brother. <laughs> but uh, it's, it's like people think that... Uh, it's, it's, it's up and down. It's like, it uh, depends on, uh, expectations get a little lofty because I'm Chris's brother. People think I'm, you know, going to be just as good. And, uh, it's like, it's a, it's, it's a job. You have to work up to that. He's 20 years in the game. I'm six years. You know but you mean? know what? Let me, I got a He's question. A vet. I got a question. During Christmas, did your mother ever look at you like, damn, you working? <laughs> Can't give me a better, <laughs> he, does he still do better? Yeah, does yeah. he top you? This is what it is. He'll, he'll buy the car and I buy, like, the, the, the navigation. Sure, fresh. Oh, okay. <laughs> you buy the, the, the Garmin? Paper I'm towel. the Garmin toy, Rob. But I watch the your show and my kids watch your show, too. You watch your, the show, my kids? Okay, so tell your kids I said hello and thanks for watching the show. Now tell your kids to watch the new show. And that's when you can catch me on TV One on TV The Funny Spot. One. Help me thank my guests again, Mr. Chris Spencer, Esau McGraw, Paula Bell, Rudy Russ, David Arnold from the Comedy Union in L.A. This is The Funny Spot. I'm your host, Tony Rock. Peace.